Proper 12. Proper 12. Yes, Proper 12. Sir. You're a badass, Connor. Uh, I don't so. think so, mate. But <laughs> <laughs> Brian, the Irish, sir. <laughs> oh, anyway. What's up, YouTube? We are the Bourbon Lounge. Bourbon Lounge. Bourbon Lounge. My name is Kenister. We've got Texas Rob, what Old up? Raj, Old Raj, and B Jack. What up, though? What? <laughs> That's right. What up, though? Why bourbon, though? B Jack, why, why bourbon for you, man? I tried it once and I fell in love with it. Hey, little mama. I gotta ask me if I want to. Been bourbon ever since. That's it. It's like a love at first sight almost. I'm telling you. I almost uh, shed a tear right there. I've always been a maker's guy, but I've broadened my palate for different other bourbons. Right. Yeah. The well, first one I ever drank was Wild Turkey 101, but that was back when I was younger. That's like the first batch of 101 ever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back in the... <laughs> The 1970s, and then we tried some other stuff. That was the last century, wasn't it? Boone's Farm wine. Wow. I just got to say century. we're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice bar that I made. That's right. Very good. Right? Kenny did help sand the top I, a little I bit. Sand, I sanded the top. Oh, thanks, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You are welcome, Brian. Um, I'm going to go with Buffalo Trace. You're going to go Buffalo Trace. We'll I'm have to nominate this one. We are deciding. Right? This is BJax. This would be a good that time to uh, give a shout out to our this, sponsors. This was bought at our sponsor, Philby Liquor, Manhattan, Kansas. Philby Liquor, Manhattan, Kansas. And yeehaw! So, <laughs> bur bourbon on the Bobby. So, Kenny nominates <laughs> this one. What is that? <laughs> I nominate this one. For Buffalo. I think I'll just try the Makers. Makers. Yeah, so. but I won't try the Buffalo. I haven't tried it. Okay, so the two end guys are going to have Buffalo Trace, the bookends, and the guys in the middle are going to have the makers. All right. All right. Like that sounds like a good one. All right, let's, sounds let's like go ahead and do this now. Oh, hear that. Oh, hear that. Oh, hear that. It is like, what, 9 o'clock in the morning? Right there, Rob. I'd rather be sipping coffee and eat some breakfast. But... <laughs> if you were a beta... You would do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really woody. Mm. You know, I told you it's woody. Yeah. Oh, that's really woody. Mm -hmm. What I really like about Buffalo Trace, well, first of all, the price is so great for it. Price point is the, awesome. The price point is really great. Mm. An all around just solid bourbon. It is. It is. You know, nothing against Buffalo Trace. It's it, a good bourbon. It's yeah. It's a very good balance for people who are like trying to get into bourbon. Yeah. If you're I would, trying to get into I, bourbon. 100%. Highly recommend the Buffalo Trace. It's what? the Gateway Bourbon. There you go, the Gateway Bourbon. Gateway <laughs> right. Bourbon. Some wood What do you there. think? Yeah, that's pretty good. Good. Uh, we both have the... Uh, what do you think of the makers? There's some pepper nice. there. Vanilla. Uh, some sweetness. There's not much of a Kentucky hub there. So, hey, you guys in I'm the comments, the if you guys have tried any of these bourbons, uh, write down in the comments section... What it is that you guys taste at all, like some flavors that are coming out for you. Because everybody's palates are different. Everybody, like, oh, yeah. certain flavors will gonna, are going to come out a little bit stronger than others. It says notes of fruit, balancing sweet and spice. And it does have balancing sweet and spice in it. Mm. If I'm at a store and I don't see something I like, I know I'll buy a bottle of Makers. I mean, just because I know it's going to be wrong. good. You can't yeah, go wrong can't with go Makers, wrong. in my opinion. So, Roger, if you were... Not here in drinking this, and you could be anywhere in the world drinking what you're drinking. Where would you be? Where would I be? Where would you be? I'd probably be back east. Ape east with his pinky up in the air. Cape Cod? Cape Cod. Cape Cod. Here we came over on the Mayflower. Little Raj ride. was on the Mayflower. Yeah, and literally, <laughs> that's how there old and... old Raj is. That's... He was the guy that said, "And ho!" <laughs> <laughs> the black velvet, the crown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Canadian I mean, mist, Seagrams. Which, by the way, mm -hmm. it's definitely not bourbon. 
be Jack. What up? Where would you be drinking Buffalo Trace if you weren't here with your, your three best buds? <laughs> best buds. Uh, I always told everybody I'm going to Key West. That's where Key I'm West. That's where I'm retiring. Oh, where would you be at, Ken? Um, probably you'd see me barefoot on a glacier. There you go. Jesus. There were some guys. <laughs> yeah. Some guys in Siberia got stranded on a glacier the other day, and they were all just standing out there floating in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> they freak, right? they That's had them back to me. It's either Key West or I like to go back home to Colorado in the mountains. If you asked me that question, I would be right here filming this shit with you guys. <laughs> Group hug. No. We're, no. We're, <laughs> <laughs> So, I want everybody to try this. Okay. All Tell right. us what it is. 1835. I got this in College Station. And this old lady came up to me and said, you should try the 1835. I'm like, I'll take your word for it, and I got it. And it's pretty good, in my opinion. Shout out to the lady. See, me, I like to get bottles if I go to a different state. I like to get something different that's not up here. Ooh, that was a nice slide. Mm -hmm. That was a good slide. <laughs> you got a little small hint of banana, some vanilla in there for sure. Good stuff. Brown sugar syrup. Yeah. I like that. Really? How many times are you going to smell? You going to drink it? <laughs> I just got to get the smell, yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah, I mean. You got to let it break up a little bit. I've actually watched this from somebody doing this, but basically, uh, whenever you are exercising like your jaw muscles when you're eating, so like I've seen somebody uh just just bear with me, all right? Okay. Let's not be weird about this. Science. Take no, me. I'm just saying your exercise job must be. Purple pickle. <laughs> purple pickle. Purple pickle. I don't even know. Bottom shelf bourbon I'm fixing to grab. Well, it's no, not... oh, back up. I'm back talking up. About the 1835. Talking about the eighteen thirty five. Oh, uh you know, it was good. It, it's good. It's good. Yeah, no, it's good. It's it's good. Kinster. This was no, I told you, man. I like it a lot. It's really sweet. It's easy yeah, to drink. Super sweet. It might yeah. actually, be, it might actually be one of my favorites today. Really? Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's very, like it. very good. Raj, I love it. Well, I like it. Is it Makers? No, no. But it is Kentucky. We have to understand that Robert is going to hold every bourbon up to Makers. You got to, man. Makers is where it's at. <laughs> He's a fan of Makers. I don't, hey, look, everybody's got their own flavor. Their I own like them stuff. all, but I always go right. back to we Makers. Are, we are. If you want to give us any ideas of what we should drink, please put it in the comment section. Also, this is a great time for, for you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're just starting out, but this is our first episode. And uh, Click the notification bell so you uh, get alerted when we post another video. That's right, that's right. So, hey, guys, if you want to tell us a bourbon that you have tried before and you really like, please write it in the comment section. Hey, try this bourbon out. And if we can get it, we're in Kansas. So if we, yeah. can, if we can get it, we will get it for you guys and we'll definitely try it. If we already have it, we'll definitely try it for you guys yeah. and uh, give you our honest and objective view here. We're not biased here. Unbiased. Well, this is our <clears> first <throat> episode, so we're really trying to grow here. We're going to have a lot of different like segments that we want to do on this channel. This right now is like our first one. We're just kind of getting started here. Yeah, yeah testing the waters. Started. Just testing the just testing the old bourbon. Testing the bourbon waters. Yep. Yeah. This will be the last one. I think we should. Uh, yeah, one more. One no. more. No. Bottom shelf bourbon. There we go. Which I picked yeah. up last night. Really good. Where did you get that? I got it from Philby Liquor. Philby Man. Liquor in Manhattan. This guy is awesome. He's our channel sponsor, so that's right. Ancient age. Straight bourbon whiskey. I think it kind of tastes like Makers. Me and Kenny, we when we had this last night while we were mm -hmm. finishing doing some a few things here, uh, we All picked right. up on the same thing, and we were like, wow, it is in there. All right, well, before you guys finish your last sip, I'll just go ahead and tell you what really is coming out is the apple. Oh, yeah. Are you guys tasting the apple? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, viewers. Ancient age. Would you guys get this bottle? A little bit now, but I mean, they could be in, in, injecting that into my <laughs> yeah. into my mind here. <laughs> we're we're now, using our ESP, Kenny. Yeah. Me and Kenny were like, 
oh man, this has got some apple to it. It does have some apple. It's, it's, it's the viewers. Ancient age, you pick up this bottle and you try it. I promise you, before you even. It's good. I mean, it is. Not my best. It, the apple is really just like, it's so crazy. Is it an everyday bourbon? Probably not to some people. But is it one you could go by if you needed a bottle in a hurry? Like, or as a gift or something. This it's, would be a great gift. It's a great gift bottle. It's a great bottle to buy, to have on your shelf, to have in your collection. I think next episode we should try this with Benchmark. I, I think we need to try this while eating a Granny Smith. Oh, that too. I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't taste the apple. You're but. kidding me. I don't. <laughs> It's you need a nipple for that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long titty, no nipple. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, I don't know. I like to say we had like a tragic event last Sunday with Kobe and the eight others. And Oh yeah, that I was want to give a shout yeah. out to all the families that's grieving right now. And it's very sad, and yep, it is sad. We, I am uh, gonna miss Kobe. I was a true Kobe fan, and that kind of hit me pretty hard. Yeah. So I just yeah. want to put that out there. So yeah, situations like this that like actually make you kind of think, like reflect on your own life, and like, wow, I really need to appreciate the stuff yeah. that I got in my exactly, life. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it really yeah. is like my opener. We get exactly. too busy. Worrying about yeah, life, and it's like, man, busy. Yeah. Hey, hey, stop and smell the roses. You know, every once yeah. in a while, just take a breather and enjoy what you got. Don't take anything for granted. Hey, even if you're going through some tough times, you know, as long as you're still breathing. That's it, still breathing. Yeah, still breathing. Stop and smell the four roses. And you're probably going to do this maybe like once or twice a month, maybe. We're going to try, yeah. Try sure. once or twice a month. Once a month to start out, I think, and then I would love to see us get to where we can do it once a week. We've primarily want to stick to bourbon because we all enjoy it we like we love drinking it we like the way it goes down our throat holes <laughs> wow it goes that and purple pickle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the purple pick makes you want to smack your mama <laughs> that makes you want to smack your mama what do you think old Raj I think you're right I don't know I'm just we might disagree on flavor nuances. On flavor nuances. But we won't disagree. On bourbon. On bourbon. That's right. B Jack, what's Excuse the most me. you've ever spent on a bottle of bourbon? Eighty five bucks. Eighty five dollars. <laughs> We're brothers from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda need a twenty spot, B Jack. A twenty spot? <laughs> <laughs> need a what? I need a 20 spot. 20 spot. <laughs> I think about it, boss. <laughs> B Jack, when was the first time you had alcohol touch your lips? <laughs> touch my lips. <laughs> you and these words, dude. <laughs> Raj had his during Prohibition. <laughs> Beer was weird. Weird tasting. <laughs> it was weird, he it said. Weird. But bourbon is not weird, and no, it tastes amazing. No, no. It does taste It weird. tastes amazing. I think this is a pretty good stopping point for this episode. Uh, we had some really good bourbon. Uh, we loved being able to talk to you guys and interact with you guys. Please, again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section if you like it, if you want a certain bourbon you want us to try. Dare I say anything other than bourbon, we will, we might make an exception. A shout out once again to Philby Liquor. Yeah, you guys have anything else to say? Oh, I'm just enjoying this and uh, we'll be here. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing and liking and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Signing off. See you guys. Bye.